and hello welcome to solo playthroughs we are doing a playthrough of volcares quest on legendary which is a little bananas uh, i think i've beaten it twice i believe it was once with arethia and once with tovac uh legendary is quite <laughs> the jump from heroic which is what the last playthrough of volcares quest uh, was that i did on the channel and that was with our hero of Bravelar and a scrappy mini, still crappy. Um, so look, I'm going to start getting this set up. Let's try to do this a little bit systematically. I did go ahead and I promise you they're random. I think I've done enough live playthroughs that I have some credibility when I'm like, these were totally randomly arranged just for the sake of setting up the camera and making sure that was perfect. Everything else I will shuffle here on camera so you can see what's going on. But the arrangement is following the arrangement of the book. You have eight uh, core countryside tiles. You have six core tiles. Two of these are city tiles. And then you have Volcaris Camp up there. Now, uh, one of the, uh, the, the, two, the two city tiles, they are going to be set at level four. If we were to unearth one of them, I will be unlikely to see a city, but it is not impossible. But Volcaris Camp is a level 14. All right, let's try to get those tokens set up. First and foremost, so level 14 Volcares Legion is so not the camp is level 14, the Legion is level 14 because the camp will move with Volcare as he makes his ugly mug across the known universe here. So we are going to need to get two city garrisons. And again, we're not going to look at them. We do not look at them until we initiate combat. It's not even like when you get adjacent to the camp. It is, you literally need to start combat before you see what sort of amazing surprises are waiting for you there. So there are going to be two city garrison. There's going to be three draconum because two just frankly wasn't enough. So we're going to do three draconum. We're not going to have any keeps, but we will have six ox. And let me make sure. I don't think you add any, uh, I know, I think it's Volcaria's return where you can potentially add uh, some of the keep units, uh, depending with the indecisive unit, but I believe uh, these are the three dragons. Uh, I believe in Volcaris Quest, it just is what it is. The whole thing is just set from the beginning. Yeah, they're just fearful. So they just run away because they can't take the heat, yo. It's just what happens. All right, so we're going to need six marauding orcs. So that's one and two. Three, all, all, all. all right, here we go. Four. So there's a total of 11 units that are in this amazing, beautiful, glorious Volcaria region, legion, not region, legion, that we are going to have to face in order to defeat this scenario. So we're going to take these 11 units, two cities, three dragons, six orcs. They are not added to, they are not subtracted from. It is what it is, and I will put them on Volcare's little tile, which I will put just here. Uh, actually, we're going to need that space. Space is a premium. We're going to put it up here. That will work. And I'm going to put a die on there to remind me that I need to roll this die when we roll, when we reveal certain cards. All right. So this is done. City level four, you can remember. Volcare's level is 14. That is good. So now, what do I need to do? I'm going to pick my hero. Now, I'm not going to be Arethia or Bravelar because I've already done a Volcaris quest with them. Uh, and I just did Tovac the last time I had Maze Down on the channel, so we're not going to do that. And I've already played with Wolfhawk twice. So let me roll a die, and I'm going to pick from Krang. We got Goldix, and we got Norwas. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a five. Norwas it is. All right, hopefully we can get a bunch of units. Let's see. Um, man, times <laughs> I'm looking at this space trying to figure out where I'm going to fit all these units. We shall make it work, kids. I have faith. I really am trying to keep the camera a little bit closer uh, just to keep visibility as high as possible. So I was trying with the, the camera higher for a while, and now we're just going to we'll try this and we'll see where it goes. All right. So we have I mean, I might have to do is like just move the unit offer somewhere and uh, kind of deal with that. It's a little unfortunate with Norawas, though, because obviously units are part of the name of the game with this dude. That's what he does. He's very friendly, very friendly elf. He uh, just loves people and they love him and 
And when I say people, I mean, you know, all the sorted array of species and races and so forth and so on. So right, here are his shields. Uh, I'm going to need to get his deed deck. Here we go. And we have his skills, which I will sh shuffle. The discoloration with Norwas isn't as bad with uh, ah, isn't as bad as with some of the uh, the heroes, so we don't have to worry about keeping the co the competitive skill in. It's all nine of his skills plus the co-op skill is here. So we'll put that here and make that the skill offer. I think that will work. And then we're going to take one of his shields. We're going to put it on the reputation track. One of his shields on the fame track, like so. Let's might as well roll the four dice for the the this um, the source. There are four dice in a game of Volcaris Quest, just like Volcaris Return. Uh, we are at least fifty percent basic, so we're good. So there is a gold, there is a white, there are two greens, and then I'm going to put Volcaris Round Order token up there with um, bulky poos. All right, I won't do that again. I promise. Uh, that's out. We have these so i need to pick the skills from the dummy players let me put these back in i'm gonna roll where's my cool little die here he is i'm rolling it is a dose that's two uh so we're gonna use goldix's skills and that's all i need this for so i already have wolfhawk's deck out here i knew i wasn't going to use her so that's going to be here the skill deck for volcare uh it really doesn't matter whose it is remember it could just be pieces of paper four red four blue four uh green and four what's the other color white and then that's all you would really need all right so we have gold X's skills they are randomized and up here and we will be adding a new skill every time we level up because again i'm still pretty sure i'm correct about how that's supposed to be played based on the rule book there is some ambiguity but it does seem that was the intention of this game. What is this? Oh, this is the competitive skill for Norwa. So I'll just put that aside. So I'm shuffling the elite units. And I'm going to shuffle up the uh, regular units. What I might just do is stack these a little bit. It's like we're kind of pretty familiar with them so i'll put the elite units off yeah let's just make some room that's fine so we have the non-elite units there's going to be four so we have peasants we have herbalists we have illusionists and we have more illusionists again and the top one is going to get a gem a, a token on them of some color so i need another die to roll where are the other amount of dies there it are rolling that it's white so this is a fearful unit. The peasants are fearful. I don't blame them. Uh, so if the when we get a wound card out of Volcaris deck, when we we will also roll Volcaris die if it rolls a white, the peasants go away, and we can no longer recruit them. Don't really love that array of units. The illusionists are fine, I guess. I just I find them really expensive for seven, but um, you know we'll see. I, I am. Hopeful that we can get up into these core tiles by the end of the, you know, at least minimum the end of the, the second day. And then maybe we can start getting some elite units using some of Norawas's skills here. All right, so we're going to put Norawas's uh, player card here. And then what I'm going to have to do, we'll see. As I start getting units, we'll, we'll start figuring how I'm going to want to set this up. All right. Always like recreating the wheel with this game. So look, we're going to set Volcaris Act. There's going to be 20 wounds. So 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to take Volcaris Wolfhawk's skill deck. 16 and we're going to take the 3 cooperative skills which I believe are still in here. Here we go. And we're going to add these and we're going to make a deck for Volcare. So there's a total of three math, 30, 36, 48 cards in Volcare's deck. So we're going to scatter these in and then we're going to scatter all the wounds in. And so what you have is, um, just, yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but definitely want to make sure that we don't, we avoid clumps of wounds and stuff 
beyond what is just going to happen naturally. All right. So, I mean, it's not unusual. I mean, there's tw half of the over half of this deck is a. Uh, is uh well no it's 2020 right so exactly half this deck is wounds so you I mean it's not unusual you'll have s s streaks of like six wounds or six non wounds in a row if not more it's totally part of the game but so they're shuffled in as well as can be and the nice thing about full care's quest is now this deck is set we don't have to worry about it we don't have to touch it uh as far as we don't add anything to it we don't take anything from it we just every turn we flip it all right, we flip one card and then we follow the instructions as per this card. So here's our little Van Volcaris quest cheat sheet. I'll put this up here. You can't see it. I can. It's fine. Um, I'm going to shuffle up the artifact deck. We have this is good. I'm going to put that up here. And we are going to have to set our spell offer and our advanced action offer. Then we're going to reveal three tiles on the board, put some tokens on it, and get on our merry questy way. So here's our spell offer. We're going to take down the top three. So we have Snowstorm. Love that card. We have Wings of Wind. Wow. Another good card. Okay. And we have Underground Travel. Okay, two out of three in bed. So, so I know travels are right. Um, makes a little bit less sense in, in Volcaris Quest. And it's usually not something I'm going to go to unless I just really don't like anything else in the offer. Just some of the I don't find it all that helpful. So I'm going to have to make a little bit of make it a little bit of a lane here. And then we have this advanced action offer. So Volcar will start hither with his massive sword carrying his banner. And our advanced action, explosive bolts, like that. Ice bolts, like that. And temporal portal, eh, it's all right. You gotta use it as your action, which is a kind of a drawback. It just feels like a waste of a turn, but it does allow you to potentially save a fair amount of movement cards. All right, this is gonna go on where did i put his token here's here it is i buried it I buried his first command token don't do that all right so we'll put norwas uh we'll have to leave that here because we get any monasteries i'm going to need to find a place for that so we'll put my command tokens over here and just won't confuse that with for care's deck fine so here's my d deck we will shuffle this so it is up to you i've said this before for care's quest for care's return you are your own timer you are not at the mercy of a d deck that's moving too fast and then you're just kind of stuck having to do things more recklessly and just basically maybe not get to some cards that you were hoping to get to you are it's up to you to have the discipline <laughs> to do what you need to do to get through your deck so that you can declare end of round because you cannot declare end of round until your own personal deed deck is empty you can have cards in your hand still but your deed deck does need to be empty we're going to start here we have our command token here we are going to flip the first three tiles so keep and a ruin down here and then we're going to take this one out so we can get to the middle we have a monastery man can you believe i did not burn down a, a monastery in my game as tovac it kind of kept me up that night i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie all right two keeps we have one keep that's gonna go here i'll go left to right so that's face down i almost flipped it what is wrong with me i that would have been bad here so this tile is really awesome i love the monastery the uh, dungeon combo i mean there's a chance that we can potentially get two artifacts obviously with norwash i'm always a little bit more hesitant about burning in the monastery i usually do it anyway but i'm more hesitant because obviously you're more reliant on your interaction abilities and uh you know rooting repetition is one way to lose them so we have a orc it's a wolf rider and then we have uh ruins spend three blues and get seven fame well that's not happening 
So that's fine. Oh, and for thematic purposes, let's see what kind of company Volcara is keeping up by his camp. He has, he's keeping up with a, I think it's an orc war beast, if I'm not mistaken. And the dragon, please be a, please be a summoner. Please be a summoner. I really hate those things. Uh, it is a fire dragon. Eh, don't really love those. Although that would have been nice to uh, have in the, in the Legion. Uh, because of snowstorm, assuming I can get a hold of that. So I'm actually going to put those bags off to the side so we can make a little bit more room here on our table. All right, I'm going to draw my opening hand. I'm going to have to keep this sideways. I'm not really sure. Oh, because, yeah, I'm putting up this. So that's in the unit offer. And I'll put a one on there to indicate there's one monastery still on the board because I have not burned it yet. All right, one, two... Well, Nora has a special card, so I got Swiftness, Rejuvenate, Swiftness, Noble Manners. Oh, man. I'm looking at these Illusionists. I mean, I guess, am I going to do the Illusionists? I'm mean, preventing, uh, they, we know that, you know, Volcaro's army is not going to be fortified, so the Illusionists might have a fair amount of power, especially when you got two city garrisons and three dragons coming at you. Uh... So it's five movement to get there. But then the question is, how do I get seven influence? Uh, it's a level two unit to rejuvenate and work with it. I mean, the herbalist, nah. Nah. All right, I'm going to do great start and hope I get another influence card. So here is our day tactics. So here's my tactic, and now I'm going to roll for Volcaris tactic. And the nice thing about Volcaris quest is that whatever he rolls, I will still have access to it later. All right, Man of Steel. So he's number three. I'm going to take my two cards because I took great start. So determination and improvisation. All right, well, that is going to help me get to my seven. So Volcare is going to go. We're going to flip over the top card in Volcare's deck. It is a white. So then we're going to look at our handy dandy cheat sheet and Volcare is going to move one direction here. I say this every time. The art on this is wrong, but the direction arrows are correct. So Volcare just moves once. He will then look at the die and the source. There is a white, so he will roll that because he's a big jerk. And now we have three greens, which is not as helpful having two greens and a white, but that yeah, is fine. All right, I am going to go. My turn is to get to that monastery and recruit an illusionist. Yeah, I think that's what needs to happen. So what I'm going to do, especially since I have noble manners and I could do rejuvenate's kind of pointless for me right now. So I'll be able to get seven influence this way. All right, so I'm going to move five. I'm going to have, well, it's going to be an expensive, it's an expensive five. I still have all my rage cards. So I don't have any red mana. I just I can't use that die. So it is what it is. So moving five. Ooh, I could move five into here, but what's the point? What is the point? Ooh, Ice Shield's kind of nice, too. But... Ice block three, reduce the armor of one, and then we block this way by three. Cannot be reduced by one. Nah, whatever. So, we're moving five. I'm going to spend the white, the gold mana in the source, and then I'm going to use Improvisation and discard Rejuvenate. So, seven influence, I recruited the Illusionists. I'll set my army up over here. Uh, and then what we're going to do is, uh, because I use Noble Manners and I use the Stronger Effect, I'm going to get one Reputation and one Fame for that. So this is going to roll. It's blue. These are going to go out of the game for now into my discard pile. Let me open this up. And actually, I'm going to get the cheat sheets for both Goldixes and Norawasis skills. 
because they might come in handy. All right, so I'm going to put that there. So we have our illusionist. All right, that's good to know. So I'll put him there, and now I draw up to five, two, three, four, and five. Cool. So the Volcaro's going to go. He pulls over a wound card. So we're going to look at the... He doesn't do anything. We're going to look over here. We're going to roll his die. If it is white, that fearful unit goes away because it can't take it anymore. But alas, alas, he stays. He stays, so he does. All right, can I get... I have some options... Reality is, could do that. Wondering if I should, well, interesting. Could use this influence to take Ice Shield, which isn't a horrible card. Um, I'm gonna be able to get a fair amount of attack. My, my concern is, again, I'm, I'm kind of short on mana. I'd like to get Crystallize in my hand if I could. I do have Threaten in my hand now, so there's not the worst idea just to get that Ice Shield because I think it could come in handy. So let's do that. So I'm going to use the Illusionist up for four. I mean, the other idea is I just make whatever I see in there not attack, but I would need a White Crystal for that. And if I use Concentration for that White Crystal, then the reality is I'm only going to have an attack of six, which isn't going to do the job. So I'm unlikely going to have two crystals here. So I'm going to use my illusionist. I'm going to play threaten and I'm going to get new. I don't want to get rid of this card. I might want to get rid of this card. I kind of want to go up this gut. I want to kill this guy and then kind of make a beeline for that quartile. And then I'll figure out what I want to explore on the way back down. You can see other option is if I go here, I could see what's going on in that keep. And then maybe get like a, mm, that would be a nice way to get, might go there anyway. If I, if I burn this down, get my artifact, I go there, get a spell, and then go there. Because even if Snowstorm's not there, that Wings of Wind would be nice. Go there, get to keep, start going up there, but then I'm further away from the core tiles, which isn't ideal. All right. I am going to take Snowstorm, Snow, Ice Shield, whatever. <laughs> Snowstorm is over there. So I re did that. Threaten goes away. I'm just going to grab one card. And I know what it is. And now I'm a little bit more set to do a lot of block. The real question is, do I want to drop March? I do. Yeah. So I could have done that at the end of the turn. Crystallize. There you are. Yeesh. Um, I'm not going to want to spend another turn to get a crystal, am I? Probably not. Probably not. I can get attack six. I got block six. I feel I should be good. All right, we're going to go here. It's another wound. We're going to roll a die. It is white. The fearful units can't take it anymore. They go away by peasants. Again, you put there's one fearful unit per player, so that's why there's only one. Um, if there are two players, there'd be five units, and there'd be two fearful units. So this guy is out. He ran back to the bottom of the deck. So he did. My turn. We are going to burn down the monastery. One, two, three. And we are going to get a Mage Tower Garrison, which we're going to pull out of this handy dandy Mage Tower Garrison bag I made. And poof. All right, so we have a Magic Familiar. It is attacking with a attack of three, but it comes with two attacks, but it has seven defense, which is super gross. So reduce the armor by three. I think I could do it this way. So I'm going to block the magic familiar. Now he's not fortified. He has a brutal trait again. So that only matters if I don't block what his attack value is. His attack value is a three. So I am going to block him with ice shield and I'm going to power it. 
that gives me ice block three, which is enough. It's efficient against a physical attack, so it totally blocks one of those attacks. The other attack, I'm going to use determination, and then I'm going to play crystallize sideways. So that gives me another block of three. So I've blocked everything. Now, reduce the armor of one enemy blocked this way by three. Armor cannot be reduced. No, one. Now, even if the block's not effective, that still applies, right? Which is a really strong card uh, and can be really nice. So what I've done is I've reduced his armor from a seven down to a four. Now, if he had arcane immunity, that wouldn't work, but he doesn't. I'm going to play concentration to get myself a red mana token, and I'm going to use that red mana token to power rage, which gives me an attack four, which is exactly what I need because it was seven minus three because I shield, and then I can kill him with rage. So I get, uh, I've already lost my reputation. I get five fame. That gets me up to six because I had the one because of noble manners. That's white. That's here. These all, so that's why that ice block, getting the ice block from the the uh, unit offer was pretty key. I can move this die away because, alas, there is no more monastery. Didn't take long. And then we are, I had to make up for it. <laughs> I have to keep my reputation. You know, people are counting on me to be a certain way in this game. Uh, and then I'm going to get my reward, which is an artifact. So I'm going to look at these two. My options are a diamond ring. I think that's going to be the winner or an emerald ring. Wow. I, but the illusionists being what they are and with noble manners and blah, blah, blah. Diamond ring. It is, it is. Norvas is a sucker for those diamonds. And then we're going to do our level up. We are going to get our new skill. So we're going to look at the top two skills. They all that. It's a diamond. Uh, for every un, for every ready unit, you get move three a turn. All right, so, and motivation, which is two cards and a white mana. So much white mana. I think that movement's too strong. Oh, I love motivation though. Everyone knows I love motivation. It's like such a nice skill. I mean, it's the first day, too. It'll really help me get through my deck. Wow. I'm just not going to... I don't know how many ready units I'm going to have. I mean, it's going to be literally worth nothing this round. Motivation's literally going to be worth nothing this round, too, though. Oh, actually, it wouldn't. Hmm. I think I'm taking motivation. I'm going to regret it, but I'm taking motivation. I just love it too much. If unnatural love and motivation. And then we're going to put a gold exit skill in the unit, in the skill offer. And it's basically two points of healing once around. All right. I'm going to grab my top five cards. And yeah, motivation isn't use, is useless this round which is fine. And then we are going to, uh, I burned down this monastery, so I need to put a shield there. Then I guess the real question is where do I want to go my next turn? But before I forget, let's do Volcara's turn. So it's his fourth turn, which isn't bad. He gets a wound. Well, there's no more fearful units. I'm not going to bother rolling. The problem if I go here, which I can do, do I have move 10? I'd have to provoke an attack. If I provoke an attack, I'm definitely taking two wounds, but it's three fame. I did like the idea of going here because the dungeon has, no, it's eight move to get there. Four, five, six. I have six. I can get here and then reveal this and then start on the dungeon, which is not an awful idea. Especially because I can take preparation, get exactly what I need to kill whatever's in there. I'm just giving up. So I'm, if by coming this way, I'm really just, I'm giving up a chance to get uh, a guaranteed spell. And Wings of Wind could play especially strong, considering that I'm going to have the, the Diamond Ring. 
And there's also a keep, but if I wanted to do a keep-based strategy, which I'm not convinced I will. I mean, here, a third of the time I get a spell, two-thirds of the time I get an artifact. I think that's stronger. I'm not going to be able to do both. Now, maybe I get the, to the maze on the way back. Um, if I come here with a five, that's just a lot of movement. And again, I'm not going to be able to block that. So it's two wounds. But I get three fame. Actually, I don't even have a red crystal. Oh, but I have this, which I can use as a red crystal. Actually, I can apply that wound to the illusionist because he's physically resistant. But then I'm stuck in no man's land. What if I go there? Because I can go two, do the dungeon. Let's do it. Why not? All right, so I'm going to play the diamond ring. I'm going to get a white crystal from my inventory. I'm going to get a white mana. I'm going to use that white mana to power mana draw. I get to take one of these die. I can turn it to whatever color I want. I'm going to turn it to red. I get two reds. And then I'm going to... Uh, take the green from the source. Now, taking this red die didn't count as my use of the source this turn, so I'm going to power march for a move four. Stamina gets me a move five. I'm going to go adjacent to the wolf rider. I'm going to attack the wolf rider. He's attacking me at a three, but he has swiftness, so he would need six to block him, which obviously I'm not doing. So I'm going to assign this one to the illusionist. Now, the illusionists are physically resistant, so what I can do is the first two points of damage are absorbed by the illusionist, and the last point of damage gives him a wound. Now, I, once I get my two healing, I'll be able to take that away with Rejuvenate next turn. And then I'm going to play Rage, power it with the red mana, and kill this dude. That gives me a reputation back which is one of the things I was looking at, but the three fame is also cool. And also I got one fame for the diamond ring, right? So I get one fame for the diamond ring and then three more fame, which gets me up to 10. And then I'm going to just do that level up now and get myself a second command token. And I'm gonna start ready them because we are pretty much in the next round. Volcare is going to go. This is his last turn. There's no more fearful units, so he's done. I declare end of round. Volcare does not get a turn. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have rolled that red because it was on mana draw. So as for the terms, again, it doesn't matter. Round is over. And we are going to get my deck and set up for the, the first night. All right. So not bad. Not bad. We... Uh, Killed an orc. I mean, noble. Right, right. So I basically lost three fame for a reputation for burning down a monastery. And I got two of that reputation back. One for destroying that orc. And the other one for the terms of powering the higher, the stronger effect of noble manners. So that worked out pretty well. And we ended up in level three, which makes me happy. All right. So these units are going to go away. We're going to roll four more die or reset the source, I should say, the, the four die. It is a white, a gold, a blue, and a green. So that is a legitimate roll. We're gonna put out, we have no more monastery, so we get no more advanced actions in the unit offer. Our, off, our offer this round is peasants, shock troops, peasants, lots of peasants. Can't believe how many peasants and shock troops. Wow, two pair. Um, I've had a lot of weird shuffling lately. This, unfortunately, is going to go away. Oh, did I ever take? You know, I never took my card. I wasn't going to be able to block anyway. Yeah, I never took my advanced action card, and I had motivation, so I would have been able to have all those cards in my hand. Um... So I do need to reshuffle this because one of these, I would have taken one of these two and I know I didn't take my cards of looking at them. And that's why I knew I was, I thought I was going to need motivation to get through my deck and I was right. I just forgot to take the card. So there's, there's an interesting, um, ice bolt wouldn't have killed that orc cause it had a, it had a armor of four. Um, it would have given me a blue crystal though. Or I could have taken a wound again, a white and a red crystal, but this could only be used during 
uh, battle, whereas Ice Bolt can be used at any time. It's a special, so what I will do is I had Ice Bolt in my hand, and I would have used it just to get that blue crystal. So that's fine. So this goes down. Yeah, I'm glad I, I recognize that, because I was looking at that Explosive Bolt card, and normally, I mean, again, those dual-color cards, when they're at the bottom of the Advanced Action Offer, when you're playing a Solar Conquest game, you're especially aware of that, because you have to really evaluate whether or not you're comfortable with the dummy player getting a dual color card in their deck. But in Volcaris Quest, it doesn't matter as much. This card just goes away. These cards come down, and then we're gonna replace that with counterattack. All right, chivalry and counterattack. Those are the things that dreams are made of. Snowstorm goes away, but we have Wings of Wind. I am gonna wanna get that. Kind of hoping for the one third to come in when I'm here. Mana Bolt's also an interesting card. It'd be some very strong effects. I find it really strong with a gold X when you when you have more ability to get a lot of crystals, but um, just a really nice card. All right, so where are we at? So we have motivations reset, everything set, 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 set. So we just need to draw our opening hand of five mana draw, march, threaten, rage, and ice shield. All right, ice shield is nice. Especially if we're going to go into that dungeon. So let me think how I want to do this. I should probably take... If I take concentration, this will give me the ability to use more than one from the source. That's fine. So I am going to play... I'm going to take preparation and I'm going to search my deck and I'm going to grab concentration because I know how I can use it this turn. It just makes a lot of sense. So the other argument is I could use rejuvenate because then I can, I can heal my um, illusionist right off the bat, but they shall be healed in time. I'm not that worried. So we have to take, we have to roll for the tactic for our buddy here. Well, Kara rolls a three, three is available, so he's gonna go first again. That's just how this goes. So, Volker taking one off the top. It is blue. He's moving again, kids. So, not bad. We got him down to five turns last round. So, feel good about that. He's blue. He's going to keep going the same path he was on. And we're going to look. There is a blue die in the source that gets rolled. Not happy about that. So, now that is green. I do have a blue crystal in my inventory, however. But. Yeah, that's not ideal. So, what are we doing now? We're going to move. Do I want to use that? Nah, I should be all right, because I'm looking at this. I have I have some options. I have six attack and then ice block. I can, should be able to reduce the armor. I could get ice block five, but then kind of SOL on attack. You know what, let me not be, let me not be, uh, be dumb here. Let me, let me play a little safe. All right, so I'm going to use motivation. One, two, and that gives me a white crystal, which I'll, I can use to uh, power mana draw. So, all right, I'm going to play March. We're moving. Units don't work in dungeons anyway, so not having illusionist isn't a big deal. Uh, again, units don't... <laughs> work in uh, monasteries either so you know there is that i'm going to enter the dungeon night rules apply so i mean we're in night anyway so that doesn't change anything and now we need to pull a monster there's a monster under the bed or in the dungeon it's kind of the same thing so what are we pulling we're gonna pull a leopard lion a manticore that's what that is it's a manticore so that manticore needs eight block to successfully block him i have not enough range attack if i don't block him he's going to give me two wounds and then two wounds in my discard pile because poison is fun for everyone. So what am I going to do? I'm going to play mana draw. I'm going to power it with a white. I'm going to turn this gold crystal. Just because it's gold doesn't mean I can't use it for mana draw. I'm going to get two reds. These will come in handy. The first red I'm going to use to power improvisation. And I'm going to discard threaten because I don't see any way I'm using that anytime soon. So that is a block of five. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play 
ice shield and I can block I still have this red here so this is fine I'm going to use concentration to get myself a blue mana so I can keep that mana like that blue crystal on my inventory and I'm going to play ice shield so that's a total block of eight which is effective to block this guy now he is fire resistant which means he's immune to the non-attack or non-block effects of red powered cards however this is a block effect and that's a block effect so we're good so I have blocked him even with his swiftness and now his armor is reduced to a three and I will just power rage with the second mana I got because of mana draw and that's going to give me the attack I need to defeat him. So he is very dead. I, there was no effect on reputation because it happened in a dungeon. No one saw it, uh, but I get five fame. So I go from 10 to 15 and that is cool. And do I want to... Yes, I'm going to get a blue crystal because of Ice Bolt. Why not? So, we're going to roll this die. It is now black. I have 3,000 crystals. They all go away. It was 3,000. I counted. And we are then going to get our reward. Our reward is going to be determined by this die roll. I rolled a green, which means I get another artifact. All right, basic colors, you get artifacts from dungeons. Non-basic, you don't. Oh, by the way, there should be another thing in here from my next, my level up when I got the second command token. Artifacts, the bow of stars dawn. I, man, this card is so good. Um, when I combat this card with the siege of, uh, with the, the horn of, of wrath or the, whatever the heck it's called, that was ridiculous ridiculous um i'm not a huge fan of using the same card in, in relatively consecutive games considering that we're we were playing volcaris quest and we're doing it now but endless gem pouch is kind of pointless for me right now yeah i, I think that bow especially against a level 14 volcar I, I just think that range attack is too strong so we're gonna do it two turn two games in a row you can send the letter send your complaints to so that's going to go here uh, and then we have to do our level up so I'm going to look at the next two skills we get a white crystal and a green mana I just that's overkill at this point or uh, any active unit I can get plus three shield plus two attack or plus one range attack alternatively I can take one of Goldix's skills but that's kind of a non-starter because I love both those cards and temporal portal is eh so this obviously isn't huge right now, but I will take that because I'm not worried about having white crystals. So that's gonna go away. We're gonna add another one of Goldistic skills. So his motivation, nice. And you can only use one motivation a turn and I will grab, man, I'm gonna have, I mean, counterattack's really nice, but I'll have some time to get that hopefully. I think chivalry is, is way too good to pass up. So we're going to take chivalry and we're going to move these cards down. All right. I'm like, why do I have a wound? Oh, that's on my hand. That's on <laughs> the illusionist. So I, I literally used all seven cards that turn. That was pretty bananas. I mean, one was discarded because of threaten, but yeah, that was a, that was a pretty crazy turn. Cool. 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 And again, you've seen how that one, that one, ma the one fame from Noble Matters, the other fame from the Diamond Ring, it, when we leveled up, it's just, it really starts moving you up that track in some cool ways. Those like little things here and there. So I'm going to draw up to five. We know what the top two are. Then I get Noble Manners. We get a March and we get a Determination. I'm very determined. So I, what I need to do is find a... And I wouldn't mind the shock troops. I mean, it would be it would be actually kind of cool to find a key, but I'm not going to go back to that one. And I'm definitely not going down there. So it's going to be a little hard because I've already used up two of the keeps in the countryside tiles, but we'll see what comes out here. So Volcaris turn, we're just pulling over one. It's blue. He continues on this path. I wish he was going that way, considering I kind of committed to going up this chute. Uh, and we do have to, now there's no blue in the, in the source. So we don't have to roll that. I'm wondering if it makes sense to cut back. But that's five movement just to get there. I don't have it. 
Mm, I really don't have it. All right, let's see. Let's see what's in this tile. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. I am gonna power it because I have a green at the source, and I'm hopefully I can use those last two points of movement. So I have four points of movement. I'm using two to flip this tile. Give me a fortified site. Ooh, not a fortified site, but another opportunity to get a spell or another artifact. That I don't hate. This is a very cool tile. Placement is huge, though. The fact that it's over on this corner is less useful, but that too, it, I, I'm going to be able to use that movement, and then hopefully, again, I might be able to take care of another dungeon while we're here. So what I need is tokens. I'm going to need a keep token to put face down over here, and I'm going to need a mage tower garrison to put face down over here. We are at night. Nothing will be revealed, even if I'm adjacent to it. I'm going to use those last two points of movement and nestle into that. I have... Shoot. I need four movement just to get in there. I really don't want to drop any of these guys, although the bow of Star's Dorn isn't going to be that helpful without... Oh, actually, no, both of those are going to be everything. It gives me range attack, too, for each card I discard, and I'm not going to have a need. This is not a fortified site, so maybe I do that. Am I using influence? No. I'm not using influence, so I'm not going to be able to keep. I'm definitely not recruiting the peasants. And I'd have to be at a village for that anyway, and we haven't. the only village on the board is over here. So, I think... I can drop Noble Manners. Yeah, I can drop Noble Manners because I'm just not using that influence, unfortunately. I'm going to roll the green. It is now red. These go to my discard pile. I draw two more cards, and I just please give me a big movement card. Stamina. I only needed one card. Oh, there's that, too. Oh, that's... I'm going to do that a couple of times. Uh, so I have Rejuvenate and Stamina, which is nice. So I can heal my uh, Illusionist, which is nice. So Volcara goes. He gets a green. He's going to do a switchback. He's going to go this way. There is a green in the source, unfortunately, because I wanted that for Rejuvenate. And now it's blue. You jerk. All right. I am going to power Stamina with the blue. And let me take a tick stock of where I'm at here. Yeah, I'll be able to do what I need to do pretty easily. So I'm moving into the dungeon because that's in a wasteland. So the move four gets me there. And then I'm going to enter the dungeon. We're going to attack with... I have chivalry, the bow stores aren't, and determination. And I have a blue and a white crystal in my inventory. So there's no sense in not doing this now. I'm a little bit behind where I would like to be. So we get a gargoyles. So he's attacking with a five. He has a, he is physically resistant. So he means we're going to need eight physical attack to defeat him, which is kind of gross. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it in the range attack phase. I'd have to, I would need, so the way the bow of star zone works, it, it, it in itself doesn't give you attack. It gives you attack for each card you discard. But, so we're going to get to the, um, yeah, I'm going to burn on my crystals, but that's fine. We're going to get to the uh, range attack phase. I'm not defeating him. We're going to go to the block phase. I'm going to power determination with the blue in my, inventory all right so now we go to the melee attack phase i have chivalry which i'm going to power with uh the white crystal for my inventory so that gives me attack six and then i'm going to use the bow of stars dawn i'm going to discard rejuvenate which means i unfortunately do not get to heal my illusionist this turn um, but that gives me range attack too because I discarded this and then I'm going to be able to get a total attack of eight and then for each enemy you defeat in the current phase of combat I get plus one fame so I get the one fame for defeating him and then the four fame as a reward for defeating him and then that is done everything gets cleaned up now the chivalry doesn't trigger because I did use that full attack six if I only six if I only use attack four I get plus one reputation and plus one fame so 
That's fine. That goes there. This goes there. This blue die is rolled. It is green. And we are good. Now you note if I if the green wasn't rolled by Volcare, I could have used the green to play Rejuvenate and then heal this, and then I could use the Illusionist to make it not attack. Um, in the end, it's kind of the same result, except in that you know that little uh, fake world that is created. Hypothetical. Hypothetical is the word. Uh, I would have a healed illusionist, but that's fine. So I'm going to get my reward. We're not leveling up, but we are getting a reward. Anyway, I'm going to roll this. It is blue. I was kind of actually hoping it was uh, white or uh, gold or, or black, to be honest with you. So one and two. So I get the, <laughs> I get the Horn of Wrath combo again. Wow. Man, that's so dirty. You guys have already seen this. That is such a strong card. Like, it's such an absurdly strong card. But, I don't know. Druidic Staff's cool. Um, you get to do a, a few things that I think might be more versatile and more helpful. And I'm not sieging cities. That com combination with stars on, it's, it's too strong. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. So we're just going to take the Druidic Staff, and I think we'll have more fun this way, even if we lose. Um, so this is going to go here, and then I'm drawing up to my hand limit, which is still five. So I have Swiftness, Druidic Staff, Swiftness, uh, Stamina, and Crystallize. If I had a card... One of the things about Druidic Staff is a little bit annoying is you have to have the right cards in your hand to do certain things, um, but this should be fine and it'll at least give me some ability to uh, advance before the end of the round. So we have a wound, so he doesn't move. We're gonna roll his die if it's white. The peasants run away, Scott. It is not, it is yellow. All right, that goes back up there. So I have three artifacts, which is kind of bananas. So I am going to use the first swiftness to reveal this tile i'm gonna to have to move this out of the way it's a village and why there's a number all right so we have a village we have an orc we have a magical glade we have a bunch of plains and a giant forest all right so we get my orc out here and I'm gonna put this uh, face up. It is an ironclad. All right, I might be able to actually reveal that quartile before the end of this round, which would be really nice. So I'm gonna use this move, huh? If I discard a white, I move two revealed spaces. I guess I'm not using swiftness anyway, so I'm gonna play Druidic Staff. I'm gonna discard swiftness with it. And I can move two revealed spaces, so I'm going to move to this village. And then I'm going to play Crystallize. I'm going to power it with a... Uh, wait, if I discard of the blue... Oh, yeah, let's do this. Never mind, I'm back here. I'm going to discard Crystallize. I get two crystals of any one color, because I think that's stronger. I'm going to take two reds. Could take... Uh, let me take two greens, actually, because that way when I get Rejuvenate, I know I'll be able to heal the Illusionists. And then uh, then I'm going to use the move four to go here. And I'll have two cards left and hopefully be able to reveal that before the end of the round. And we'll see what that does. We're recruiting possibilities early in this first night. End of my turn. I pull my last two cards. Oof. Maybe I'm not revealing it. I probably will. I mean, I'm just wasting diamond ring, but I don't need the, I'm not that worried about having white crystals anyway. So he goes where uh, he pulls a, um, a wound. So we're going to roll. Is it white? It is not. The peasants stand firm. And I think I just need to do it. I'm going to play those two sideways. Will give me access to better units. And I am Norwas. Ooh, it is a red city. Interesting with a lake. And another keep. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not attacking that city because I have three lakes and I don't have any way to climb over them. So we have our keep here. So now I get to start figuring how I want to go back. Oh, I did that. 
dungeon. So one idea this day, I could probably go through this magical glade and then kind of see what's over here. We have this keep and this maze, and then I have a village right there where I could do a lot of pillaging, getting a ton of cards as Volcare makes his way across the terrain. So this is a level four city. I'm not even going to put any of the garrison out because I'm definitely not even getting to it with, you know, Lake Atlantia in front of me. Um, and then this dragon is the other fire dragon. So no fire dragons for us. So that's my turn. I just revealed that quartile and now Volcare does get one more turn, which is the disadvantage of taking that action with only two cards. And how many turns did he get this round? So he got a, he got six. All right. So that's, that's about right. Um, but I think it was now we got that quartile on the board and we kind of know what the rest of our game is going to look like, uh, at least as far as a strategy standpoint. So we're going to ready this skill. Again, a level four, 14 uh, Volcair. So the three dragons, the two cities, and the six orcs. That's a lot going on. All right. We're going to put these here. We're going to get rid of these units. We are going to roll the source. Two greens, a red, and a blue. That is totally legit. The temporal portal is going to go away. I do want that counterattack before that goes away. And unfortunately, we lost out on Wings of Wind. Um, again, I was really hoping that one of those two dungeons I would have rolled a gold or a black, but it was not meant to be. But Mana Bolt's pretty strong and space bending eh, man not not loving the uh spell offer at this moment in time one moment in time all right regular units oh there's two regular units and two elite so we have herbalists uh so let me do this wait we have to do this in order so i'm gonna tip freezers would be at the top they we can recruit them in cities or in keeps could make a run down here now that I think about it because keep mage tower keep monster den it's not the village that's over there but at least like we know what's here although that keeps not that far away the thing is I mean it's fearful so that thing can go away at any time and then the herbalists then the next elite unit is heroes which I can recruit in a village so I could recruit them there it's nine. The only thing about heroes, when you're doing a siege, you do have to pay to influence. Now, if a character lands on you, not so much, but it is what it is. And then we have some thugs. Huh. All right. Some really interesting possibilities there. Both of them I can get in villages. I'm going to have another... If I kill the ironclads, I will have another... I should go that way because I kill the Ironclads, I get the four more fame, and I'll have another command token by the end of this round, uh, and hopefully the ability to recruit both of these two, if not the Freezers. The Freezers are fearful. Oh, do they look fearful? No, no freaking way the Freezers are fearful, man. That offends me. Offends me to the core. All right, Bow Stars Dawn, Swiftness, Rage, Stamina. And crystallize. Nothing that gives influence. I mean, I could try to get 14 influence and just recruit everything in that keep, which isn't a terrible idea. Not necessarily that unrealistic either. All right, let me get planning, I think is the go to here. It'll help me get through my deck a little bit quicker. Uh, we have to roll for this jerk. He rolls a five. Five is no longer available. He rolls again. Five is no longer available. Stop it. And then he gets a three. Three is what he rolled last time. And alas, it's still available again. So he's still first. Who's surprised? Not me. He gets this. It's green. He goes this way. There is a green in the source, so he will roll it. It's still green. Nice try, Volcare. 
All right, so I need a move three to get into that magical glade. Man, uh, that wound's getting annoying for sure. So I'm going to move so range attack. Ooh, interesting. Four. Move four. Get a white. Mm, and then I'll be bumped up. I'll have one more card. All right, let me play motivation now because it's going to be more useful now than later. So I get two cards. Druidic Staff it is. And we get another Rage. And I get the white crystal. That's what I really wanted here. So... So Druidic Staff, when I, so I discarded the blue last time to get the two greens. Uh, you can discard a white to move two revealed spaces, which I originally did and undid. You can discard a red to, to ready a level three unit or lower, or you can discard a green to get heal three. So if I get a green, it's another way I can potentially heal these uh, herbalists. Um, but I don't have any green cards in my hand now, so I'm going to hold off uh, on that. I'll probably discard these two is what I'm going to do. I don't want to, I don't have a, a good block card, so I'm not going to, I don't want to mess with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, shoot, I'm going to have to use a Druidic Staff sideways, I think, which is kind of gross. I don't really want to get rid of, I have the white there, never mind, never mind. All right, I'm going to power stamina for move four. And that's going to get me into the Magical Glade. While there, I'm going to provoke an attack with that. Ooh, could I move more? No, I don't have a white to discard, unfortunately, because then I could just move two. I don't want to... Uh, let me think this. All right, let me do this then. I'm going to... It's just more efficient. Discard... Yeah, and then I'll take advantage of the bow of Star's Orn. All right, I'm going to play Dewitic Staff. I'm going to discard a white to move two reveal spaces. So I'm going to go from there to there, and that will save me some having to do some movement next turn. And then I'm going to play the bow of Star's Dorn. I'm going to discard one Rage, one Crystallize, and one Stamina. That gives me a range attack six. Now it's physical attack. The Ironclads are physically resistant, but uh, that six physical attack is enough to defeat that three physical resistance. In the ranged phase, I get one fame because of the Boa Stars Dawn, and then I'm going to get four more fame, which gets me up to 25, which is a nice level up for me, and everything is out. All right. Planning doesn't trigger because I only have one card left in my hand, but I will get six cards because with my level up, I have another command token coming off the top. So I'm going to draw up to six. That's two, three, four, five, and six. I never actually used that white mana. Originally, I was going to use that the power of swiftness for the, the attack, but ended up finding a better way. There was a better way, and I did it. Yeah, man, just not seeing some good movement options here. Uh, where are the rest of my movement cards? <laughs> uh, you know, I still think about that that playthrough when I was toe back and I pulled a two staminas and two uh, what's the blue uh, two staminas and two marches and then a wound. That was the most ridiculous starting end ever. All right. Volcare pulls a wound. He's in a roll. Is it a white? It is not. The freezer stand firm. Ah, uh, man. I don't even know what to do. I guess I gotta play something sideways. So mana draw is not gonna be that helpful, it appears. I'm gonna play the diamond ring to give me a white crystal and a white mana. But the white mana is just gonna go away. But it is what it is. Not thinking determination is gonna be that helpful either. So I'm gonna play mana draw and determination sideways to get some cards out of my hand and to reveal this what do we have oh, another one gold extra skills oh no it's another monastery but probably not on my radar because it's up there so we're gonna have to get another advanced action on the unit offer it's pathfinding 
we have ourselves a marauding orc. And that's going to go here. It is another ironclad. He's like, yo, where's my friend? He was just right there. That's right. That's right, dude. He's dead. Ah. Uh, if he attacks me, he attacks with brutal. And that would be gross because that would be three wounds, which I don't want. But I could kill him fairly easily with concentration. All right, let me see what I pull. So I am pulling up to six, and then I get the plus one because of planning. So I'm going to have seven cards in my hand. So we have March, we have Stamina, we have Threaten, and we have Improvisation, which will get me some block, which makes me happy. Still can't heal my Illusionist, unfortunately. So we're going to do Volcara's turn. He gets a wound. We're going to roll to see if the freezer see what they're made of they're made of steel frozen steel as course all right uh so these are some nice Im influence cards oh when i killed that orc i should have gotten a reputation right right because i lost three for burning that down i got one back for using noble matters once and then i killed two orcs so i should be back in the middle and i never pillaged a village either Playing really, being very nice, being very Norwas nice, because that would have been another thing I could have done instead of use my motivation skill, just pillage that village. But I think this made more sense. Um, ooh, you know what's crazy? I don't want to be too much plus or minus because recruiting the heroes and the thugs on the same turn could be weird. Oh, that's so strange. But if I get the I'll have other options too. If I get the thugs and the freezers on the same turn, I won't be that upset. The freezers are probably better in some ways. Some very real ways. What am I doing? That's a good question. How many turns has he had? He had five, then he had six. So he's had three. So this is my third turn. That makes sense. Um, uh, on my third turn, once upon a time, can I get blocked for? I can. I'm going to have to use a proposition to do that, though. And then I'm going to have attack six. All right, that's fine. So the, uh, jerks, whatever their name is, they're attacking me. That's what they do. Um, what I'm going to do is... All right, I'm going to spend one of my greens to march four. I'm going to trigger an attack from this guy. Now I'm going to use the red from the source discard stamina. So I get block five. So that blocks him. So I don't worry about his brutal. Then I'm going to spend another. Yeah. That's, you know, I have access to blue crystals. So I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to actually power with the blue because I do want to have a green left over. And then I'm going to discard the March. So just, I just reverse that. And then I'm going to use the green crystal. I just want to have at least one green from when I get rejuvenate because I want to make sure I heal these stupid illusionists. Um, so I'm going to power concentration. I'm going to play rage, get the stronger effect plus two. That's an attack of six. That, again, is enough. The same math as last time. So that's another reputation. And then that's four fame. That gets me up to 29. Bye-bye. I end my turn on a blue mine. So I knew I was getting blue back, which is why that made sense. And then I'm going to put those aside. I'm going to roll this. It's a white. These all go on my discard pile. I think I have two cards left. I do. So I'm going to draw up the six plus one because of planning. So one, there's my rejuvenate. Two, three, four, five. That's seven cards in my hand. Noble manners. That's nine. All right, I'm going to try to seize this keep and then maybe recruit something before the end of this round is over. But alas, I mean, alas, I don't know why I just said alas. I have two other, I mean, I have, there's a way to keep there and a village there. So hopefully I'll get another chance to recruit something next turn. If not, 
So our first spell. So what happens with the spell? It's the same as a normal thing, except there is now you just do the movement aspect twice. So you're going to move one and two. Spells are really gross if you're actually on the verge of combat, but, you know, it's fine. So really it's been a lot of steady movement this way, just the two that has kind of moved it over, which is normal because, again, there's eight white and blue combined and only the four green. Um, so what's happening? He's going to reroll the white in the source. It is now a red. That's fine. So my movement is a little bit garbage. I'm going to use the green to heal two, which gets me my illusionist back. All right. Then I'm going to don't need that blue crystal. So I'm going to have to keep this moving if I have a chance to do what I want to do this round. So I'm going to move four, three, the swiftness, and then I'm going to play Ice Bolt sideways. This reveals this garrison. It's heroes. Of course it is. Um, I hope this is a movement card. I don't think it is, though. So this goes away. It's green. And I'm going to draw my last card. Is it movement? It is movement. Look at this. All right. Planning goes away. And then we draw a card for Volca. It is a wound. We're going to roll. Is it white? It is not. My turn. The heroes are going to attack. It's fortified, so I can't lose the illusionists. It is four influence, which is really nice. So the gross thing is so she's ice immune, so she's not going to... I'm not going to be able to... Um, the reduced reduction of armor effect of Ice Shield isn't going to trigger against her. But I could block the one attack, then I could just take one wound for the other attack, which isn't terrible. And then I just need the attack four, which I definitely have. Definitely have. All right, so we're moving in. This is my first fortified side I'm attacking. So I lose one reputation. I'm going to play Ice Shield to block the physical attack. It would be inefficient against the ice attack. And then I'm gonna just take the wound. So there's three points of damage from that ice attack. I take the one wound. That's fine. So she has a armor of four. I'm gonna power chivalry. No, I think I need to keep that white crystal around. But I also don't wanna lose influence. Eh! I'm going to, well, I have this, six, yeah, I'm going to lose that white, which is gross. I don't have a better way to do it, though. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to power chivalry with my white crystal. Somehow I'm short on white crystals. Oh, I know, because my illusionists were wounded for two rounds. Uh, so it's an attack six or an attack four. So I'm going to take the attack four. So that's enough to defeat her. She, I get, since I used only the attack four, I get plus one reputation, one reputation and plus one fame. But because I defeated a hero, I lose that reputation right back. And I already lost the reputation for sieging a fortified site. I get five more fame, which gets me a level up, which is really nice. So that's done. I'm going to put a shield on there. My only reward is I get another card draw which will become in handy next turn. These all go away. And then I'm going to look at my two skills. The minus five would be a wonderful gift. Ah. All right, so I can ready a unit or I can heal a unit. There's one if it's like the minus five. You, it's, it's a really nice skill, but clearly it's not coming out right now. Um guess readying the unit makes some sense could come in handy it's fine i mean the other one is like plus two range attack or plus one during the night phase also can be effective especially against full care but again I, i'm i'm gonna go with a unit a unit strategy because 
that's where we're at. Oh, the alternative is I take motivation and I take the counterattack. Don't hate that. Yeah, I think I do that. I'm taking motivation. You can only use one motivation to turn. I believe that's how that works. Uh, you cannot use another. Yeah, so I'm taking the one motivation. So now I have two motivation skills, and I'm going to take counterattack. So since I really wanted that card anyway, that made some sense. These move down, and this comes off the top. Frostbridge. What was the other advanced action I took? Because my third time. Ice shield. No, I bought ice shield from there. I took ice bolts. Did I forget to take... Uh, no, chivalry. There you go. I want to do that twice in the same game. That would be silly. Alright, put another one of gold disc skills in there. And now we are good to go. Well, Care's turn. He is going to... I hope he rolls a die, and I hope he makes it white. So improvisation, he doesn't move. So we haven't pulled any of his reds yet, so that's a little bizarre. So he doesn't move at all. He just looks around. If anyone was in range one, he would attack. Uh, but since uh, there is nothing in range one, he is just going to roll this die. Be white, 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 yes! That's awesome. <laughs> so my turn. We are going to play Noble Masters. We're going to power that with the white. All right. Oh, he did take the red though. Oh, that's really goofy. That's fine. Ugh, a little gross. Um, we're gonna get this influence here, and then I'm gonna have three more influence. So my total influence this turn is going to be maxed out at. Oh, I get an idea. My total influence this turn is gonna be maxed out at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I could do some cool stuff. Oh, I didn't take that one. If I took the thing where I could re-ready a unit, I could flip that. I probably should have done that because then I could use that and use it twice. So I want the thugs. Do I want the thugs? Probably not. No. So we're looking at heroes. So they have attack or block five, cold fire, block eight, influence five, use during interaction, reputation plus one. Ooh. That's, I could just take them and use their ability for that. The alternative is the Almotep Gunners, and they're gonna give me Freezers, and they're gonna give me, um, nine, seven. This wound. The Almotep T Freezers are gonna give me one target does not attack. I think I go with the the heroes and let's see if I can get a lucky a little lucky with this die roll here because I, I could potentially get both of them the freezers and the heroes. All right so we're gonna move the illusion the illusionist over here we're gonna make room for the make room for the lady. she's here and then we're going to uh, so I only need nine for her. Because my influence is a flat zero. My reputation is flat zero, so there's no uh, plus or minus on that. So I use four and then eight, and then I'll play counterattack sideways for the nine. And I, since I use this during interaction, I get plus one reputation and plus one fame because of noble manners. So that rolls. That's now green. These go away. Uh, I didn't want it to be green, I wanted gold. Or red, <laughs> but that's fine. And then she's gonna, um, well, Kara's gonna go. It's a wound. So we're rolling. Is it white? It is not. It's gold. So I can get seven reputation, seven influence, which isn't exactly enough to do what I want to do. I need eight to get the freezers and I'm actually one away from getting it that way which is kind of gross 
But it's what I get. It's the bet I made for myself when I had burned down a monastery. So heroes and threaten. I'm going to get the thugs after all. And they are going to go here. Since I use an influence during a direction, I get reputation plus one, which is now putting me in a much better spot. All right. So that's discarded. Volcares last turn for the round because I am declaring end of round. Let's do this. So I'm running out of shuffling space, kids. <laughs> this is gross. Um, man, this battle is going to be a mess because there's no room anywhere. How do I shuffle? All right, we're going to do it right there. Everything just stay calm. We're creating an earthquake in the middle of Atlantia. People are like, where are these? I was just walking in the field, minding my business, walking by that monastery, and I saw these giant hands. All right, it's like I'm like in the land of the Lilliputians. That's what's happening here. All right, this goes away, gets replaced with Intimidate. Blood Ritual gets away. It's a, that's a nice little card, actually. This goes here. Rush of Adrenaline could be helpful. Vents will care. Lord knows he has enough enemies coming at me. I'm going to be taking wounds. Uh, underground travel goes away and that gets replaced with expose that's not as useful against full care this the freezer stood tall showed the world that they are truly have ice in their veins i know the puns are amazing uh we have fire mages can be recruited in a monastery or a mage tower we have utim swordsmen they might be a good replacement for the illusionist, to be honest with you. We have the Defana Masters, and then we have more Utim Swordsmen. Hmm. Target on fortified enemy does not attack this combat. Ah, that might be too that might be too good to give up, even for the I like the swordsmen a lot. But the fact that you're wounding them for their stronger effect is kinda gross. We just don't know what those dragons are, but just not having to worry about any wounds at all from one draconum or one city garrison, especially if there's one that has paralyzed. I think the illusionist is going to be too strong in this very, very, very specific instance. All right, the fire mages are the ones that are uncertain about life here. Uh, everyone else readies, and this motivation skill also readies. I think everything is set. Nope. I did not roll for a new sauce because we are in, definitely in the second night. Right? Right. Uh, two greens, a white, and a black. They are going to go hither. What do I want? Sparing power is intriguing. I'm not sure if we're getting to a third night. And it might be worth trying to do a big battle at the end of this night. So I went from intrigue to just doing it. And uh, we'll see how that works out. All right. So sparing power, especially because I'm not sure we're getting a third night here. And what's Volcare going to do? The problem is that we do get a third night. The reality is, what else am I doing this turn, right? I mean, I'm going to want to get an artifact. I probably want to get a spell. I'm going to get a spell there. And then I'm going to want to get... I could do some things there. But I really don't have a lot of adventure sites up here. I mean, there... I mean, I could get a spell here, try to run up to that monastery, get another artifact, but... Like, what's the point? The monster den over here. I get this keep over here. So I'm on a keep. I get to remember my, my plus one card draw. Hmm. Let's do one giant attack this round. I think that makes some sense.
yeah, because I'm not, I don't have a bunch else to do. And in the case I get really wounded, then it'll give me some time to heal up in the, in the second day, third day. But if I'm going to have any chance of doing a nice attack against him this round, I'm going to want sparing power. All right, six, he would have taken it. Two long nights, so he is fast. As always, I'm drawing up to seven because I'm on a keep that is mine. So Diamond Ring, Improvisation, Crystallize, Stamina, Druidic Staff, uh, Wound? When did I get a wound? Oh, I got a wound from the heroes. Oh, my one wound, and I pull it right off the top. Naturally. Naturally. See what your friends did to me? That's gross. She's not upset. She's not upset enough for me. But that's fine. Uh, so those are my seven cards. Volcara goes first. He pulls a white. I can put my skills over here and just start taking over this side of the board. So he pulls a white. That means he's going to go in this direction. He's going to re-roll the white die in the source. It is now gold. That's not good. My turn... Yeah, we're going to play Diamond Ring. We're going to get a white crystal to my inventory. We're going to get a white mana. I'm going to use that white mana to power crystallize, which is going to give me another white crystal to my inventory. I get fame plus one because of the Diamond Ring. And then I'm going to move four. I'm gonna, using March, I'm going to power with the green die from the source and end up into those wastelands where the maze is and gets set up for next turn. I think that makes sense. Uh, Druidic stuff might not be that helpful, but that's fine. Oh, beginning of my turn, I need the spare power. So that's one. I'm just gonna put a die on there. Remind me how many die, how many cards are there because I keep Every time I play Sparring Power, I'm like, did I do it yet? Oh, that's gross. All right, so we have two goals in the inventory. Not helpful. Drawing up to seven, because I'm still adjacent to my keep. Five, six, and seven. All right, we're going to go to Volcara's turn. It is a wound. We're rolling this. Is it white? It is not. So he still has three spells in there, which is concerning. All right, now we go to... Uh, my turn. We're going to. I'm going to use the motivation skill because I can only use one a turn anyway. So I'm going to get two cards and a green. All right. We're going to spend the green to power March. So that's going to give me a move four. And I'm going to try to get that mana bolt spell because it's a really that especially with the the black mana. Oh. It's all random. I don't remember what two cards I just picked. I don't want to stop the tape and look. So it doesn't. Just pretend that was on top. It really, it's all random. So I'm going to go and just get a spell because that powered up mana bolt, especially at night, can be really strong. The mana thunderbolt. It goes from mana bolt to mana thunderbolt. It's amazing. This is like Shakespearean writing right now. Uh, we're going to pull a monster we pull the monster and it is a thing so what are we doing with said thing i can make it not attack is that worth it i could heal two this way so if i take one wound i need six attack Lose a reputation. Counterattack. Yeah, I don't want to be burning all my things. So, all right. So the illusionists are physically resistant. So one of those attacks, I don't even need to worry about. I can just assign it to the illusionist. They will absorb it without getting wounded. I can take a wound in my hand with the other one. So then I'm just blocking one, and then I need an attack of six. This is I didn't actually block him fully. Counterattack won't trigger. Don't have any red crystals. I can do that after. 
So let me do this. I'm going to Yeah, I think that makes some sense. I'm going to use the thugs. I'm going to use this skill I have over here. So that gives me an attack of five. And then I'm going to, did I block the third one? No, I didn't block one yet. Uh, I will block. I don't want to block with improvisation. Do I need this movement? Probably not. I'll just play these two cards sideways to get the block of two. So I blocked one, I absorbed one of the illusions, I took one wound to my hand. I'm gonna use the thugs, which is gonna give me a attack of three. With that card, gives me an attack of five. So I just need one more point of attack and I will use improvisation sideways. I know it's it's really flexible, but, oh, what it could, oh, it's, it's the same thing. I could discard a card to get the block too, but then I'm still discarding a, side, a card sideways to, to do that. So that's fine. So I didn't burn any of my units. I really probably should have taken that unit instead of taking the second proposition. That was probably a mistake. But again, I've said that a couple of times, um, but that's enough to kill the Hydra. The Hydra is dead. It doesn't affect my reputation, but I do get five fame, which gets me up to 42. That's out. We're going to clean up my, oh, after the um, attack, so I took the fan word a little bit quick. I'm going to play Rejuvenate. I'm gonna power it with a green from the source, which is, gives me heal two. And you can heal two, draw two cards, gain a green mana, or ready a unit. So I'm just gonna heal two. And then I'm going to do nothing else. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. So then we're going to clean up my play area. We're gonna re-roll this. It is green still. Yeah, source is rough. We're gonna get my reward. My reward is I want mana bolt. Get at least one strong spell here. Now that I'm pretty sure I'll have the mana to take advantage of it. This goes down. The thugs are used up. That skill comes back. I can use it again. And then we're going to draw up to seven cards because I'm still adjacent to my keep. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Oh, man. I think... Kind of out in no man's land. All right, we'll see what he does. So he's going to draw a card. It is red. He looks two spaces around, nothing happening. He sees if there's a red on the source to roll. There is not, so he's done. I'm gonna play sparing, use my sparing power. I get a third card here. All right, and then we're going to move three noble manners doesn't do anything for me i'm gonna have a massive hand oh, i could go back now and recruit replace the thugs with the utah swordsman that i don't hate oh i use the thugs for their attack so i do lose a reputation for that Yeah, I'm still a bunch of fame away. So this is move two. Just got a card, get two red crystals, blue crystals. Yeah, we need six fame, six reputation to get them. That'd be four. I need two movement to get there. Yeah, let me do it. I think the swordsmen are worth it. So we're gonna move two. 
And then I'm going to play Noble Manners. I'm going to power with one of my white crystals. I'm going to use these two cards, play them sideways to get influence six. That gets me the Utah Swordsman, and the thugs are disbanded. The swordsmen come in ready, even though the thugs were already used up. And since I use that influence during interaction, I get plus one fame and plus one reputation. That goes here. This goes out. Drawing up to seven. So four more. One, two, three, and four. That's great. This will care. He rolls that. It's a black. My turn. I can discard a white. Man, that farce is going to be rough. I was thinking about it, if I go here with using a Druidic Staff, that would be awful, but then I'm just going to be totally stuck. I discard a blue to get two crystals of any color. I might want a couple of reds here. I discard a white, I move two, which wouldn't be awful. But if I move two, I'm going to want to get in his face. Let's say this could set up for next turn. Huh. Oh, I should put a shield here because I already got this. This spell. All right, I'm going to break the Druidic Staff. I'm going to move two spaces, two re revealed locations, and I'm going to get two two crystals of one color. So I'm going to end my turn there. I'm going to get one blue. This is my fourth turn. So yeah, this should go here for sparing power. And then I'm going to get a blue for ending my turn in a blue, in a blue mine. I'm going to get two reds because I've the Druidic Staff Instructions, and that's now broken. And I'm not doing anything else, except I'm going to drop Threaten. All right. I'm going to draw a card. Concentration. Vokar's turn. He gets a white, so he goes here. He There is no white in the source. Sparing power is done, because I have no more cards on my deck anyway. I have two move. I'm going to need five move to get out of this mess I put myself in. Oosh. Oh, I really am kind of stuck now. Wow, I never even used that. <laughs> That's awesome. This is crazy. This is actually a really strong hand. I just can't attack him. I mean, it's so strong. I might just go seize a monastery. Then I'm going to need to hope to race back. But if I seize a monastery, if it has five, I get another command token and potentially recruit another unit. He's just got so many. He's got the old, he's got his two other spells that have movement. During the day, it's going to be like a replay of Arethia. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's not that much movement. I did just throw out the Druidic Staff, though. It's such a crapshoot. I mean, because that... Who's to say that artifact's going to be useful? I think what I do is I move five here. And then... He'll be one away. Oh, that, that's just a, that's a really nasty, such a nasty garrison. Each year range attacks become siege. It's only the second night, that's so crazy.
that he's had about six turns of six turns of around. Erg! I don't know what to do. If I move four, I seize that monastery. I get an artifact. I call it, and then I race back to attack him. Even one more movement card would make this so much easier. My crystals are decent. Nah, it's it's too much to go over there. I don't even think I'm using the bow of stars dawn. I don't think I need mana draw. Alright, so I'm going to use Swiftness for its movement, and I'm going to do that for a move of 5 to go here. Alright, I feel care if it's a green, it's on, if it's not, oh, he might attack me if it's a green spell. Alright, let's see what happens. It's red. He looks one around, there's nothing there, He does. there's no red on the thing for him to roll. I go there, I just get a gold. Man, I've never just wasted this much time. Alright, I'm gonna just do that special effect and declare end of round. So I get a white crystal because of the illusionists. That's that, end of round. <laughs> So, just a lot of huge cards that didn't really amount to much. Again, the timing is just a little off. Um, these motivation skills will reset. And we're going to shuffle this. I mean, yeah, this is a really strong deck against 14 units, though. Or it's a level 14, it's a 12 units. I don't have a ton of siege attack. It is what it is. All right, so that's here. We're going to shuffle. No, nope, we don't shuffle his deck. He just stays. This goes away. These are out. We're going to get another elite. So Amhotep Gunners. We get a non-elite is the Red Cape Monks. We have this. It is the Fire Columns. And we have this, the Utam Crossbowmen. All right. The... What was the lead I didn't get? Oh, the fire mages, yeah. That's fine. Um, the gunners or the golems are... If I was over by that keep, it'd be interesting. All right, we're going to do this. Now I have to figure out if I'm, I kind of want to go back to that village or not, because then I could just pillage like crazy. So this is not legit. The blue stays, and then it is two golds and a black. Again, the source has to be 50% basic. We have one of each is better, one of each basic color. Nice. So rush of adrenaline goes away. Intimidate goes away. That gets replaced. It is pure magic, and then this gets replaced over here. It is refreshing walk. Space bending goes away. And we now have Flame Wall. Oh, that's the card, man. That card's so good, I might go siege that, that Mage Tower. I'm not even joking. All right, we're pulling six. So Mana Draw. Put this backwards again. Threaten. Stamina. Counterattack. Chivalry. And Concentration. We're getting day tactics for the third and final day. Once this day, I can announce that I'm taking a second turn. 
I'm de he's definitely going before me. So we'll just go with him. It's red. He looks around. No one to attack. He's done. My turn. Yeah, I want flame wall. I, want, I really want flame wall. So I'm playing concentration. I'm powering stamina. That gives me a move five. So it's move six. I only needed the five to get there. It's going to be four more to get into there. This guy. Uh, he's fortified. Don't have fire attack. Fire block, but not that worried about it. She's ice resistant, but it's going to cost me two influence to activate her. Can I get who can I get? Oh, I get the fire golems there. They'd also be nice. I don't have the forest in movement, so. Let me drop. Mm -hmm. Let me drop. Threaten. Yeah, I'll drop threaten. Roll this. It's red. This goes out to my discard so it's a sword vent should have been under here all right oh yeah the gunners are fearful again also fake news um <laughs> sorry, bad joke i don't know why i said that um we're going to pull three cards one two three and i'm going to play this motivation skill to get me two more and a white mana because i already have the uh i have chivalry in my hand all right his turn it's a wound we're rolling it is not white so the gunner stay put i need four move how am i not pulling any move it's really gross dude like really bizarre so i'm gonna move two three four I'm entering here. I'm attacking a fortified site. It's attacking with a five. I still have rejuvenate. So I'm just going to take those two wounds. Attacking with a five. I mean, I would need, I would need 10 block to block it. And I just don't want to use these cards. That's inefficient. I can get six block. I need two influence to use heroes. Oh, that probably makes some uh Maybe not. It's five fame, so I will be leveling up. Block six, block nine. And then I need a six attack. wound it and just replace it I think that makes some sense all right so we're going to block nine so I need one more card sideways that's block ten so that's effective and then I can play counterattack so that's attack four plus three because I blocked him. So that unit is dead. So I'm going to get five fame. It's going to be at the 48, which is a level up. 
since I did the block nine, I used the stronger effect. I did wound the Utum Swordsman, and I never actually used my white mana, but that's fine. All right, so he's out. I'm gonna get my reward. What's my reward? My reward is a spell. I should have cleaned up my play area first. So it's white now. These all go in my discard pile. And then I'm gonna do a level up, which I already did to go there. All right, I'm drawing up to, I can put a shield on here. This goes down. Charm. And then I'm drawing up to six. One, two, and three. All right. We are going to go with him. It's a wound. He's taking his time. It's green. My turn. Oh, man. I'm going to... I'm at zero. Get influence nine and get the fire golems. And then I just try to race through this turn. All right, I'm going to spend. Yeah, I have no other influence card. Forget it. Doing it. Oh, the illusionists are going to be used. I can ready them again, actually. So that's influence nine. So we're going to take the golems. I can't recruit the gunners in a mage tower anyway. And that's going to go there. And then. going to play Ice Bolt and get a blue crystal. Alright, that gives me one more card. The Bow of Stars Dawn, Volcaris Turn, it's a blue, so he's moving again. My turn. <laughs> it's crazy that I have only one green on my thing. Uh, my turn, I'm going to draw two more cards with motivation. I think I'm just going to try to race for my deck and then try to save this all up for next round. So I'm going to move four with March. Because we'll care, just doesn't seem like he's in a big rush. And then we're going to play Crystallize. I'm going to power it with a green, a blue to get another green. So I have two of every color in my inventory and three blues and that will be my turn roll it's green i'm not going through enough cards which is the problem i'm not using them because i'm not attacking anybody You know what, at the end of that turn, I'm gonna draw my whole hand and then I'm gonna play the right moment to draw another whole hand. We gotta get to the last night. I had no movement, right? I had no more movement. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that makes sense right now. This is weird. It's weird. So this is my last turn. I'm going to play uh, rejuvenate. I'm going to power it with this green. It gives me heal two, so we heal my swordsman. And then I'm going to play march for two. I'm going to use a blue crystal from inventory to get me move six. And then I have swiftness for move eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives me the village. I'm going to play diamond ring. To get a white crystal and a white mana, which I'm not using. I get fame one for that. And then I'm gonna be done. 
roll this. It's green. See, this is where it's like when you play on legendary, but like I'm still at the fair setting. This is when it's like you almost kind of wish the tempo was a little bit faster because you're kind of getting stuck in these no man lands. No man's lands. Um, that's fine. And then Volcara goes, it's a blue, so he's going to go here. He rolls the blue, there are none. And then I'm going to declare end of round. All right. So he only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's gone through 30. Eight turns, no, 28 turns. That makes sense. No, he's gone through 30 turns. So he's had six turns around, which is about right. Um, he just hasn't pulled a couple of his greens and he still has two of his spells. So that's why he's been a little far off. So I'm just gonna try to go and just get in his way. Uh, after I pillage that village a few times and just get as t many cards as possible. All right. So this is my hand. These are all reset. These reset. I'm going to uh, reset the source. So blue, blue, white, gold. Not great because I used the black. Then we do have the diamond ring to get unlimited black. But of course, we're going to need that with our spells. Pure Magic and Frostbridge go away. They both get replaced. Oh, Blood Rage is nice. That's one. Expose goes away. That gets replaced. Oh, there should be another one of uh, the Dragon Skills. Six, yep, it's five there, one there. And then we have to replace the units. So these two, this one. So the new unit offer is heroes, savage monks. Those are the monks I love. They're really good. The other monks, I'm just not sure are worth it. Ice golems and magic familiars. We're pulling six. Our options here. Uh, yeah, I think I got to take mana search and hope I pull a four. One, two. Ooh, diamond ring is nice to know where that is. Now we just need my spells. There's one. There, <laughs> there's two. All right, cool. So this is starting off well. I'm pulling mana search because I don't... Do I really need the mana? No. No, I really don't. I really, really don't. I'm going to go first. That means um, I'm going to pillage. I lose a reputation, so that's two cards. I have to play one. So I'm going to discard. I'll play Rejuvenate, which allows me to draw a card. That's my turn. Right, this is indecisive. Volcare's turn. He pulls double move. So he goes there. Now, if he ever gets to the edge, what happens is um, oh, now he's three away. So that's sealed. If I was standing there, I lose the game. It's a very weird rule, but I'm not standing there. So we're good. Um, so if he ever gets to the edge, then he will start moving. Uh, and when he's adjacent, he has to move onto it. And if he gets there and he does a move action, then he wins. So. We're going to have a little bit of time, but the fact that we're going to have to go across here to get to him is a little annoying. But if he gets a, his green spell, he's going to go right there. Uh, so we're going to have to move pretty quick. Now, I can only use one of these a turn. Remember that. So um, I'm going to use the motivation skill to draw two. And then I'm going to pillage again before my second turn to draw two. The pillaging technically happens on his turn. So now I have this giant stack of cards. And I will try to pillage one more time, I think. Diamond Ring is going to definitely stick with these two things. Bella Stars Dawn makes all of this super worth it. Each of your siege attacks. So I can double my range attacks. I could double my siege attacks, but they become range attacks. I 
do have some raise attack. Not a ton. So I have to play a card or just discard a card. So I'm just going to discard the Noble Manners. And in his turn... So yeah, I had six. I pillars, I drew one. I discarded one. I played one. And then I drew two more. I pillars, and I got rid of one. So that's right. So I'm going to pillage again. Reputation goes down. And two. Volcare's turn. It is a wound. Rolls. It's not gold. It's not white, I mean. My turn. All these cards are somewhat useful. I'm gonna need just the move for a tons of move here. All right, I'll get rid of one of my stamina. I'm gonna pillage again, and then I'll start moving toward the gate next turn. So that's two. His turn. It's a wound. He's going to have to move at some point. My turn. Man, that flame wave is awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're just going to move four, powering it with the blue from the source, and I'm going to end up on the gate. Gold tending. Oh, gold is gross. So I play the cards, so we're good. I don't pillage anymore because I can't, and obviously I'm not drawing any more cards except for what I draw for motivation. His turn. Oh, he's not moving. That's... I'm going to draw two. One, two. I'm going to discard one and a rest. I'm just going to waste that white mana, which is fine. Obviously, don't need it. His turn. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So he is there. My turn. Now... If I attack him and I defeat at least two of his units, he just turns his round order turnover and he doesn't go again, right? So I just need to keep attacking him and killing at least two of his units. So I'm going to go, I'm going to spend two for March, I'm moving to where he is, and it is on. So I'm going to move everything off of here because it's just going to get in the way. So all these shields are gone, gone, gone. And now we're up for an epic confrontation. And I better get it done this night. Wow. Um, oh, he rolled a green. If there wasn't any in the source, there was none. So that's fine. So these shields are gone. That is that. These can all leave. Don't need you anymore. All right. Here is Volcare's army. So he's in a roll. So that's why we have this dice there. I've moved onto his spot. We're rolling. It is a gold. So that is his attack. He's doing a cold fire attack with brutal and assassin of three. So his city garrisons are he's got Defana Masters. They have assassin and paralyzed. They attack with an eight. They are both ice and fire resistant. We have those guys, Altum Guardians, I think. They are uh, fortified. They have all three resistances which is rough. We have the Ice Dragon. They are physical and ice resistant. They have Paralyze. We have two of those. Gross. We have <laughs> those guys. Gross. Those dragons are rough. We got a Summoner, an Orc Summoner. We got a Prowler, I think that is. Uh, we have a Catapult. We have a Digger. And we have another Prowler. So let's see fortified can't mess with him nothing and this is fortified so these are the only two that are fortified and this one's fortified but who really cares about the diggers so physical resistance is a problem and those three have physical resistance she's not fortified so i can definitely wipe her out but i don't know if i have enough non-physical attack right so let me do this i'm going to break the diamond ring so i have an unlimited amount of white and black mana fame plus one for every white uh card i play this turn flame wall is definitely going to be the grand finale that has to happen in the attack phase and it will work against oh yeah that's that's going to be huge because each enemy i'm facing uh, at the time I play that. So anything I kill during the range attack phase isn't going to matter. Oh, there's one more. 
Oh, we have another. We have a wolf rider. There were six orcs. All right, so that's going to be a huge fire attack. I mean, it's literally a flame wall. So I'm going to play Mana Bolt. I'm going to get the strongest attack I can get. He has to go. Two of these have to go, ideally. She can go because of the bow of Star's Dawn. But I can get a... Ranged Ice Attack 9 is the strongest I can go, which would work against him. So I'm going to play a, a white and a black that I get because of the Diamond Ring. And then I'm going to play a blue from the source. And that's Ranged Ice Attack 9, which takes care of those guys. All right, they have Arcane Immunity, but they are not immune to Ice Attacks and they're not fortified so they're only physically resistant so bye bye i do not have any influence to recruit her but that's fine um i'm going to say all right this is a little bananas I could get the influence if i really want that but probably not Get one more range attack with him. This was a ranged ice attack, so I do have one extra point of attack because of that. The bow of stars dawn is a ranged ice attack, which is rough. I could do this. I'll knock out all the summoners at once. So I'm gonna put in this blue for my inventory. So that's actually a ranged ice attack of of 12, 9 plus 3, and that's going to knock out the Dragon Summoner and the Orc Summoner. So we don't have to worry about monsters and all that garbage. Alright, we're going to use the Boa Stars Dawn. How many can I block? Let's figure that out. I'm going to use a white with the Illusionist and say one of these dragons can is not going to attack. And honestly, with the Paralyzed, that's kind of a no-brainer. I might actually end up just losing my heroes because I don't know how useful they're going to be. That's going to need a 12 block. I can do a range attack, range fire attack four. Make it a five. So if I get four more range attack, I can wipe out these guys. So I'm going to do a range fire attack four. I'm going to use this to make it a five. And then I'm going to play swiftness power with a white from the supply because again, a diamond rings in play. So I just need one more point of range attack because it's going to be four physical plus one fire. And I can't lump him with anyone else because he has physical resistance. So that makes him super annoying. I'm going to use Bella Stars Arm might not be as useful as I hope. Double my range attack. Oh. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm playing bad, is what I'm doing. Bubba Stars Run, I'm breaking it. Each of my ranged attack is double. So that was a ranged ice attack, that's a ranged attack. So this is actually a ranged ice attack 24 up here. <laughs> yes. Ranged ice attack 24, that's not gonna work against these two guys. But range of attack 24 will work against, uh, that's, that, those guys are fortified. So that's a range of attack, like 18. So that's eight, so I would have 10 more units. All right, these three are dead as well. My bad. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, the Boa Stars one's amazing. I'm breaking it. Every All my ranged attacks are doubled, including their elements. So, yeah, that's fine. So we've doubled that. So that's a total attack of 18. So the ranged ice attack 9 kills those. So I still have this ice bolt that can be used. 
and all my range attack are double, and that's even in the not in the melee phase. So that's awesome. All right, because I can't use them against fortified enemies, right? So if I'm doubling that, that's this fire attack is now a range fire attack eight. I can make it a range fire attack 10 because it's plus one and it's doubled. Can I get a, just a, this would give me a six physical range attack. And I think, I'll just use the ice bolt. Might not be using the illusionist at all. I can use the illusionist to activate the heroes. That might be smarter. All right, so I haven't used the illusionist yet, so this white's gonna go back there. That's 16. It's a little inefficient, but I think this makes the most sense in that I'm going to power this so that's a range fire oh i don't need this then this is what i don't need so i still have that all right so this is a range fire attack eight right um so that gives me seven with still one left over range fire attack so i would need 12 physical attack or 12 ice attack to if i lump these together which if they have the same resistances, that's fine. So basically I need a ranged fire attack 14 to succeed. I have eight, so that gives me, I need six. So I can use physical or ice attack and I can have it, they're both inefficient, but as long as I get 12 points of damage there, we're good and I can knock out both of these dragons. All right, so I didn't use this skill. So I still have this available to me for a block or whatever I want. And these are the only remaining orcs and then the one city guy. And then the Defana Masters, which I'll deal with in a second. So the Defana Masters probably aren't going to attack because they're, they're, they're not that scary. They are fire resistant though. But I, I don't think I'm going to have a choice but to deal with that. All right, so um, yeah, so this is six ice attack because it's double because of the bow of stars on. This is six physical range attack because it's double because of the bow of stars one. So that's all inefficient. So that, you know, that 12 attack comes out to six. That's six attack plus the eight attack here is the 14 I need to kill both of these dragons. So they will go in the dead pile over here. All right, I think that's all my range attack and I still have flame wall. All right, if I let these guys attack me, my hand size is six, so I can only take five wounds. I'm gonna prevent, you know, I think this makes sense. I am going to activate the heroes, so I'm gonna have them available to me. I'm gonna say, use the illusionist to say that, yeah, because I'm gonna have, ooh, I'm gonna want more red. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the heroes yet, but the illusionists can't attack because they will parallel. Oh, if they attack cold fire, he's not he's not ice resistant. He is cold resistant, so he that would he would be dismantled, and I'd have to worry about something else being dismantled. So I haven't used the illusionist yet either. Let me figure this out. So wounds, wounds. Volker is attacking with a three, with brutal. So that's six points of damage. So that'd be two wounds because I have full armor that has assassin so that has to go to me all right so that's two wounds from him the defana masters are attacking with a five cold fire that would be two wounds but whatever gets that wound is going to be knocked out or paralyzed or disbanded depending on what we're talking about the prowlers just give me one wound the diggers are just giving me one wound the ultimate guardians are just giving me two wounds and the catapults are just giving me two wounds so nothing in my hand is going to give me a wound. It's not like I have like one of those things that get a wound for doing whatever. I don't have blood rage or whatnot. So I can take five of these wounds without 
a concern. The qu but again, the more I block because of counterattack, the better too. So there is a, a give and take here with blocking things. Of course, the Delfana Masters are going to cost 10 to block, and that's going to be tough to do. Um, unless I use the heroes and I cut that cold fire block eight, which is quite sick. I could block, so I need to block three of these. I've already used the fire golems, lest we forget. The, f the fauna, all right, the illusionists are going to have to go. That, that paralyzes is, is too much to deal with, so she's just not attacking. So I need to block now this guy and one of these is really what's going on. I have the termination in my hand. So I'm going to use the termination. I'm going to power that with a blue from my inventory. I don't need any other blues. That's fine. So yeah, I can't get a cold fire block anyway. So I'm going to block the ultimate guardians. That is one enemy successfully blocked. Now going to do white. I'm gonna do this and we'll need some guardsmen. Yeah, we're just gonna go crazy with counterattack and uh, flame wall, I think. So I'm going to block this guy with a block. So I'm not going to need these. Yeah, I'm going to use mana draw sideways and I use a six. So I'm going to block the catapults. So that's two enemies blocked. Let me kind of keep track of this. So I blocked him. I blocked him. Um, I don't need to block anymore, but I want to. I'm going to use improvisation. Because again, everything I block is going to be plus three on the attack anyway. So this guy is blocked. So that's three enemies I've blocked. And I'm not going to be able to block anymore. I'm not going to be able to recruit. Well, if I recruited her, I still have that skill. Where did that go? Oh, so I can do a block eight. Block to, oh, that's better. So I'm going to use the illusionist. I'm going to not, I'm going to let this attack so I can block it. It's a cold fire block. I'm going to activate the heroes because I used a two influence from the illusionist to get me that ability. And that's going to be a block eight. And then I'm going to use this raise to give me a block 10. So now she's blocked as well. So we didn't block this guy. So we're going to take these three wounds and we didn't block Volky. So we're going to take three wounds in our hands. Out of the 12 enemies we started with, we are down to just five. Did we start with 12 enemies? We started with 11 enemies. Yeah, we're down to just five. because so we had two, three, and six. So all the dragons are dead, which is bananas, right? Yeah, cool. So what are we doing now? I'm going to play counterattack. Mm, I'm gonna play flame wave. So I'm going to play, I'm going to power with a red, and then I'm going to, you get a black from the uh, supply because of diamond ring is still in play. Um, yeah, endless for this turn. So that gives me a fire attack of five plus two for each enemy token I'm facing, and that includes Volcare. So I have a fire attack of five plus 12. I have a fire attack of 17. It's inefficient against the Delfana Masters, but I think I have to use it to take them out. I'm not gonna be able to. Three, four. Blocked, blocked, blocked.
blocked. I blocked four. That's right, because I used this sideways. I just forgot to add the last one, because when I changed it up with the Defana Masters. So I'm looking at the counterattack. I'm going to get another 16 attack there. All right, so I have a fire attack of 17. Uh, shoot, if I give him fire resistance, that's bad. Fire attack of 17, I would need 18. I'm one card short. I can play chivalry just to kind of simplify this. That's just an attack of six. So these two are out. I'm going to get 16 attack from that. I'm having a grouping problem because if I group, if I group this with any of these guys, we're taking, um, we're, we're making this fire resistant. I mean, the two I just killed Oh, what I could do. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This game. All right. I'm going to do counterattack. I'm going to do an attack of 16. I keep thinking they're not physically resistant. So the 16 is going to kill these three enemies because it's four plus I, I blocked four enemies. So it's plus three for each. So that's an attack of 16. So the Fauna Masters plus the Prowlers plus the Diggers is 14. So that's enough to kill them. None of them are physically resistant. So I don't have to worry about resistances at all. They're dead. Then I could use a flame wave to kill the Autumn Guardians because it's uh, inefficient because he has all the resistances. But I've done and this is well. I would have done this first because I'm facing those tokens. So I did this first. I killed him with that fire attack. I used counter attack to kill these three, and then I'm using chivalry. It's inefficient, but that kills that. Woo! Sorry. All right. Yeah, that was just sitting there. You're <laughs> just sitting there, and uh, took me. A little bit too long, but yeah, I for some reason I was giving the Defana Masters physical resistance, but they weren't. So I'll try to place these out where everyone was killed. Um, the Mana Bolt took care of that guy. Again, that was doubled. And that also took care of, so that was a ice attack, range ice attack of 18. So that actually took care of of all these guys because none of them had ice resistance so those four were killed by mana bolt these two were killed by the combination of ice bolt swiftness these uh and fire golems so those dragons were killed there the Dafana masters and the diggers and the prowlers were killed by this counter attack again the Dafana masters were blocked by i used the influence from the illusionist to um activate the allow me to activate the heroes in this attack on volcar and then I, again, that was an attack five plus the three there plus the rage. So that was a block of 10, which allowed me to do that cold fire block. Now she does have a cold fire block there, but I didn't have the blue mana to do that. Um, so that was fine. And I ultimately blocked um, four creatures. I only took wounds from Volcare and one remaining because I used improvisation to block one, determination to block one. I used the stronger effect of Utum Swordsman and then played mana draw sideways to block one. And then I used the heroes to block one. Um, so that was bananas. Woo! All right. Oh, man. I, I feel like I played that wrong. <laughs> but it worked, I guess. That was... I've never had, like, such... A long period of time where I just felt like I couldn't do anything. Um, that flame wall, when I saw that come off, it really, I'm glad I was there and I'm just like, I gotta get it during the day. And then I've never, ever, ever used the right moment just to burn through my deck because I was like, I need to get tonight. I need to get my diamond ring. I need to have my spells. 
I mean, I still had some decently strong cards on here and Concentration and Ice Shield, the rest of it. Who really cares? Um, I did not... I mean, I would get a bunch of fame. Obviously, I just killed 11 enemies in one turn, but I'm not that worried about it. Um, but yeah, being able to... That move to go to that, that Mage Tower, not only did I get the flame wave i was also able to recruit the fire golems you show how strong they were um that four fire attack doubled because of the uh bow of stars dawn is just really really cool and, and look i'm glad i'm really glad that i didn't take both this and the horn of wrath i mean it's just <laughs> it's nice to see different combos like this is a this is such a unique game i've never had a game that played out <laughs> quite like this but that's volcaris quest on legendary it's it's fun i really like it on legendary uh just because you get that epic confrontation with volcare as he's questing and you're just trying to stop him from entering that gate um if he still had an enemy remaining what would have happened is his token would have flipped i would have been able to draw the rest of these cards so if even if one guy survived I'm looking pretty strong to have killed like the one remaining orc, you know, or whatever that would have survived. So that was kind of what I was thinking through when I, I was having a, a mental block and forgot that the final masters actually don't have physical resistance. So it was just eight to knock them off along with these two chumps. Uh, what, what do I have with the counterattack? I, I did have 16. So I actually still had two points of attack left, which still wouldn't have been enough to wipe out uh the catapults so yeah i did need every card in my hand to make that happen uh and just ended with those three wounds so this would have been my new hand because i would have leveled up for sure uh what would i got i would have gotten this most likely worst case i would have gotten this which is still enough really if i just had the one one um the one orc left so that was um just again it's always a, it's a fun playthrough i mean volcaris quest is is really cool on legendary volcaris return on legendary is really hard um i've only been once I, I i don't know if i'll be getting it on the channel anytime soon let's get a megapolis on the channel and i'm sure i'm butchering how that is supposed to be pronounced before i start worrying about you know getting a uh, volcaris return on the channel and legendary but always happy to get this this these games on here man i'm in some ways it's like it's happy it's just nice i'm like because sometimes i think back at some of the the times i've had with the game and i'm like did that really happen uh and just getting this on film for myself if not for you all is really fun <laughs> it's really fun um because there are times i play this game and i'm like what am i doing how does this work uh, and there are times where it just all kind of comes together. And, and this was kind of a little bit of both in a weird way. Um, cause I really just felt like I was lost with not much to do. I had done all the adventure sites that I could do in this part of the board. And now it was just kind of playing a waiting game. Again, if you start jacking up, you, you start removing cards from his deck by putting in less wounds. Um, you could see why he moved so slow. There was only one wound left, but that again, that's not unusual i mean you're you're talking 20 of each card so you know the fact is it is i'm just you know we were just kind of uh, we ended up on the on the on the more uh, fortunate side of that um having that green come out then was beautiful because that's what i really needed because i was worried that i was like man i probably should have spent a couple more turns pillaging over here so i was kind of getting a little worried and then i because i that i got there when i got there because uh, I was just killing time, but then he got that 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 green, and that put him right where we wanted him to, you know, start that combat against him. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. But look, you all are great. Uh, I, I appreciate all the comments, the feedback, the likes. Uh, people are are way too nice to me online for some dude who just puts. <laughs> Board game playthroughs on there uh but i appreciate it i appreciate the support i appreciate the encouragement i will continue on with mage knight and spirit island and all the rest of it in the upcoming months um 
if you want to see what's upcoming on my Patreon page, there is at the beginning of every month, I do make one post public that does have the upcoming calendar for the month that we are in. So be sure to check that out. Other than that, any comments, likes, or comments, questions, epiphanies, please put them in the comments below. And until next time, happy gaming.